Hi guys! So in today's video I am going to be comparing the Beauty Blender with the Ulta Blending Sponge. Um, I have been using the Ulta Sponge for a while now and the Beauty Blender for a long time. Um, so I wanted to show you guys if, you know, they're similar, if this can replace the Beauty Blender and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is that this half of my face, well what I did, is this half of my face I uh, applied my foundation with the Ulta Blending Sponge and this half of my face is with the Beauty Blender. Um, so I'll go ahead and um, show you what I did. Alright, so we are going to start by obviously applying foundation and I uh, was using the Maybelline Dream Velvet in um, color 75 for natural beige it is a soft matte hydrating foundation and um, I just basically dotted the foundation all over my face and then blended it out now I did choose this foundation specifically for this because it is a little thicker kind of has a mousse feeling so it's a little bit harder maybe to blend in than a very you know liquid foundation um, so that's the reason why I decided to use this just to see uh, you know the difference of on the sponge and how it would cover So as you can see I am using the Ulta blending sponge on this side of my face to blend out my foundation And I am not going to use my uh, beauty blender to blend out the foundation on the other half of my face So this is what it looks like after um, I blended everything out. Honestly, to me, it pretty much looks the same. Um, I didn't see, you know, too much of a difference on both sides, except that beauty, um, the beauty blender, the Ulta blending sponge, maybe did not cover uh, my nose very well, as you could tell. But I mean, other than that, it wasn't such a big difference, honestly. All right, so um, I don't know if you can tell the difference. I personally can't. Um, I honestly really like the Ulta blending sponge. It, to me, I mean, since I've bought this and this is like two weeks ago or more, um, I have not, I hadn't touched my beauty blender at all. I did not miss it. I just, you know, I. I didn't really feel like I needed to go back to it. This is actually a very, very good sponge. Um, and it is super affordable. I'm going to show you here. This is how I bought mine. It comes two, and it's only $10. And the Beauty Blender is, what, around a little bit over $20, I believe. Um, so you get two for $10. And since it's something we constantly replace, it is just a much affordable deal um, and you know about product I think that the Beauty Blender tends to maybe soak up more product um, I don't know if you can tell like right here look at all this product that's just stayed there and this one I mean it's not that bad honestly I don't feel like it just you know I don't feel like it um, uses that much product it just I like it and then it feels really really soft it kind of feels like the um yeah, right here like the real techniques one um, it has a kind of feeling once it's wet after the real techniques it's wet they have kind of the same feeling I still like this one better than the real techniques though um, and I also love how easy it is to clean so I used um, you know one of both of them and the white one first I left it dirty honestly on purpose a, a little while maybe about a week or so to see how it would stain the um the sponge and I washed it and there's not a stain at all which with the beauty blender I've happened to have the same luck and this is white I mean 
so it's much much easier to clean so that's a plus because then you know your sponge is actually really 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 clean um, obviously with my last beauty blender I left it for you know put away somewhere for a while maybe it wasn't a hundred percent dry but it looked it seemed like it was pretty dry to me and it still and it got mold and I threw my beauty blender away obviously I don't know with this I have to see you know how long it lasts or what happens afterwards but um I honestly really like it and it is as you can see it's pretty bouncy you know I mean I actually like the feeling of this one better because the pores of the sponge is they're not as big as the beauty blenders um, so I I don't know I give this a 10 I would totally repurchase this after this, I don't even know if I'm going to repurchase a beauty blender. I mean, let's be honest, I probably will. But um, I, I'm not like even too concerned if I don't because I'm really, really happy with this. And again, it's so affordable, such great quality. It can honestly replace your beauty blender if you don't want to spend that much money on a beauty blender. Go and get this. Um, I actually had to ask for it at the store because it didn't have it in display. So they probably ran out pretty quick. But I asked and they had, you know, um, a few... Um, you know in in stock in there so I honestly would recommend for you to try this it is amazing and super affordable so I really really like this Ulta did a very good job with this sponge um, it honestly I've tried several but and nothing came close to the beauty blender even an actual beauty blender the red one I did not like it as the pink one but um I mean I I love this I liked it so Go ahead and give it a try. Let me know if you did try it, what you thought about it, or if you've already tried this. And um, that was pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.